Hey, it's some old guy coding again, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, correct routing of the drive belt in the ZNXY, uh, opposed to the way I did in the last video here. So uh, here we've, I'm going to be showing pictures like this of points of interest of where the belt will be going, and down in either the lower left corner or the upper right corner, there's going to be this box showing an overview of the Zen XY with the sand side down and the stepper motors facing toward you. And there's some icons on there that uh, has special meaning. The green little box is, represents the camera view of the image you're seeing overall in this scene, uh, just to get you oriented as to where we're looking. Red circle also points out the junction that we're interested in. And of course the arrows indicate the, the routing or the direction uh, the belt should travel. So sorry about the picture and sound, but uh, I've got the main camera recording something on the mostly printed CNC machine. So I'm using a little webcam here to record this. And uh, I've got <laughs> a bad print of uh, uh, the instructions from uh, Bill's entry on the forum out there. Thanks, Bill, for this. This is gonna be very helpful. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. I was wrong with the path last time. So, so let's go ahead and go with the first thing. We'll be coming off of this pin here. So with the uh, smooth side toward the idler, we're going to come through that hole here and pass the idler <coughs> and through like that. And then uh, next we go uh, into the motor with the uh, threads up. We're going to go into the bottom of the motor and go underneath the pulley. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop like that. Just push it through the hole. So now this is this path is going onto the bottom of the the uh, dry pulley, and this part is coming off the top. And the next step is to go back across these spacers here, just like that. And that's going to be underneath the uh, pipe, of course, like that. I've gone across the pulleys here and to the upper right hand hole right underneath the pipe in there and it's come out the other side here now it looks like we're going over to the bottom one over here so what we did is we came out of the top one over here and we're going into the bottom one over there. And then we're going to come down here and go around this uh, idler on the center piece here. So we're going to be going around that guy there. Ken, I'm going through the idler over here so that's the one we're coming through not the one with the extra uh, offset on it but the, the one that's straight back and we're going through there with the smooth side This goes across now the center that has the zip tie on it with the threads, uh, the, the teeth facing the zip tie. And once we're across there, It looks like we go through this back idler on the same side as the uh, um, the piece that we attach to. And 
And now we're going to go to the inside idler wheel at the corner again. So this is the one at the lower left. I remember this correctly. This one goes straight back and it's open. Hey, it's coming around nicely for me this time. So now that we're across there, and I have this sitting on top, it actually goes underneath, of course. We're going to go back here to the one in back and try to go through the, uh, the idler back there. All right, so I've got a little piece of wire here. It's uh, uh, from the, those embossed to uh, tab, tags that we were uh, trying to uh, mark with a laser. So I'm going to go underneath here and try to get that to come around now. There we go. Just like that. So this is a case where if you didn't have the sides on like I do, it would be uh, very convenient. Yeah, it feels like we're making a little more progress this time with a little bit less tape on there. There we go. And we're through. And we're the right direction. Ha ha! So it looks like once again this will fall across the idler wheels on this side. And then it's going to go into the stepper motor on this side. And he says then over to the stepper motor. But his point here is an important point. He says note that we start on the top on this side. Where we started on the bottom over there, we're going to start on the top over here. So we're going to go into here. We're going to make a loop starting on the top and going to the bottom. And we're just going to pop that loop right through that hole and hook it on the belt. <laughs> With a smooth side around the side pulley again. And straight into the assembly. So there we are. If you look at it straight down, they don't cross, but it looks like the top one over here goes to the bottom one over there and vice versa. The top one over here ends up going to the bottom one on that side. But they're either both in front or they're both in back. So Ryan has already thought this out for us. So here's the post we're going to attach to. It's now in the right location as opposed to the other direction that I had it on the other, uh, other video, earlier video. So we're going to take this and we're going to make a couple loops. And that uh, belt should interlock into itself. And I have a pair of wire cutters here right there. I'll snip off that uh, wire tie. And right over here we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to make a loop and have the teeth grip back into itself here. squeeze those teeth together with another wire tie. Okay, then we'll cut that guy off. So what we've done here is made two little loops. There's a little loop there and a little loop here. And with those loops, we're going to attach this to the um, centerpiece here with a couple of more wire ties. Go through the loop here. Make 
kind of a, a hoop on that side. Same thing on this side. <clears throat> we'll make a hoop and loop it over that center post there. So now one side we're going to grab and tighten it up, and the other side we'll just use as a, uh, a tensioner. So we'll take that one in back, I think. This is the X switch back here, the one that's at the diagonal. So make sure that that's connected to the uh, X connector on the board. And of course this one is the Y switch. Make sure that one's connected to the Y on the board. I had those confused back and forth a couple of times and that was some of my problems. Um, additionally, just to be clear, the uh, motor on the X on the axis with the X and uh, Y switches I have plugged into the X connector and the one without the switches I plugged into the Y connector now for me to get them to work I've had to plug them both in the direction so that uh, these little pin things that are visible on that side and not on the other I'm not sure if you can see those on the screen maybe you can uh, those we're facing the driver in order for me to get it to work right. So now the auto home works properly for me. So if I go right over here and I say uh, prepare auto home, it's going to home this axis first. And that's the X axis. I mean, sorry, that's the Y axis. And then this is the X axis. And that 